The Cardioankle Vascular Index, or CAVI, is a revolutionary parameter that is significantly less affected by blood pressure than other measures of arterial stiffness. Now it is possible to evaluate the stiffness of the blood vessels easily in conventional clinical settings. Blood vessels circulate the blood throughout the entire body. Blood vessels are composed of three layers, the tunica intima, the tunica media, and the tunica adventitia. The stiffness of blood vessels is determined by a wide range of factors, including the amount of elastin, collagen, and other substances in the vessel walls. One measurement method of arterial stiffness is pulse wave velocity, or PWV. PWV relates to the stiffness of arteries and is the speed with which pulses of blood from heart contractions are propagated away from the heart. However, this speed is affected by many factors other than arterial stiffness, such as the structural condition of the arteries and by blood pressure. CAVI was developed with the above in mind and represents an indicator of the average arterial stiffness between heart and ankle that can be easily measured. CAVI is obtained using the following formula. This formula arose from two concepts. The first is the stiffness parameter beta. This concept, which is the basis of CAVI, and lessens the dependency of the stiffness measure on blood pressure. The second concept is Bramwell Hill's formula for PWV. Assuming that a cylindrical shape for the blood vessels is present, the formula is as follows. CAVI is simply the stiffness parameter beta expressed using Bramwell Hill's formula. Let me explain CAVI's lesser dependence on blood pressure from the theory of the beta method to the development of CAVI formula. When the heart contracts, pumping out blood, the internal pressure in the aorta rises distorts the wall of the aorta, and the aorta dilates. Upon contraction, the heart returns naturally to its previous shape. This model of the functioning of blood vessels is known as the Winkessel effect. Stiffness parameter beta is the relationship between the pressure and the change in diameter of the blood vessels. The relationship between pressure and diameter is exponential. So, in order to evaluate a more stable constant, the exponential function was changed into a linear function. The inclination beta of this function represents the stiffness of the artery, and it is less dependent from blood pressure. CAVI substitutes this blood vessel diameter with PWV, providing an index for evaluating the stiffness of blood vessels. Let's take a closer look at the PWV that goes into CAVI. The PWV measured here is the PWV from the heart to the ankles, HAPWV. The parameters we need to measure in order to find HAPWV are ECG, heart sound, brachial pulse, and tibial pulse. When the aortic valve opens in response to the contraction of the heart, a pulse wave is generated in tandem with the first heart sound. This pulse wave propagates through the blood vessels in a cylindrical fashion. The section up to the rise of the brachial pulse wave is the time taken by the pulse wave to reach the arm from the heart. This time is recorded as the variable T-B. Synchronously with T-B, a pulse wave propagates toward the tibial blood vessels. The time difference between the rising starting point of the brachial and tibial pulse wave is called TBA. T represents the time that the pulse wave takes to travel from the heart to the ankle and is calculated using time T-B, the time for the pulse wave to propagate from the heart to the arm, and time TBA. One problem with finding T-B is that the first heart sound contains a great deal of confounding noise, making it difficult to detect the exact time of the aortic valve opening. For this reason, 
The second heart sound, the sound of the aortic valve closing, is used to find a substitute time for T-B. It is called TB. As such, by using time TB and time TBA, we can find the time taken for the pulse wave to propagate from the heart to the ankle. The distance traveled can be calculated using the subject's height and applying an anatomical coefficient. With these variables, we can therefore calculate HAPWV. Therefore, CAVI is simply the stiffness parameter beta and HAPWV. CAVI is an index evaluating the average arterial stiffness between the heart and ankle.